Hey, my name's Angel. I'm the creator of Deskscope, and in this video I'm going to describe how to use it. Before I start, I want to mention some settings in Windows that I would recommend turning off. This animation when minimizing and maximizing Windows causes Deskscope to freeze for a second while it's doing it, and this arrow peak option causes Deskscope to disappear. So here you have your single window mode. What I'm using right now is desktop mode, and it's relatively slow. So when the frame rate is important, you'll want to use single window mode. Also, since Deskscope handles Rift apps differently, you'll want to have this option selected before you launch single window mode with a Rift app. To start single window mode, you'll just want to drag this cursor over whichever window you want to see in Deskscope. Over here you have your 3D options, which only work in single window mode. So right now I'll demonstrate how you would use this for a YouTube video. On some machines, you might not be able to get to the window finder by pressing Alt-Tab like this, so there's also a hotkey to start single window mode. Over here you have your tracking options, and the most important thing to note there is that before you launch a Rift app, you'll want to turn tracking off in Deskscope by selecting one of these two options here. Here you have distortion correction, and because it's pretty easy to lose your mouse cursor in Deskscope, you have these two options to help keep track of it. Restrict cursor keeps the cursor inside of a box within your field of view. And you have this cursor pointer here. Here you can change the rate at which Deskscope captures the screen. And you might want to do that if your machine is having a hard time maintaining 60 frames per second. For example, if you're watching YouTube, you might want to set it to 30 frames per second since that's the rate at which YouTube plays anyways. Here you have your IPD adjustment tracker sensitivity, zoom, field of view adjustment, here you can change the background color, when you press this button wherever you're looking becomes the center of the virtual desktop. This button calibrates the rift sensor and enables yaw correction. When you press that, you'll get these four arrows, and you'll just want to look in those directions until you make three of these arrows disappear. And this button lists all the hotkeys available. That's it. Thanks for watching.